Excuse me, I said, please hold on, have patience. Excuse me, excuse me, have patience. The time will be given to you. And if, if, excuse me, I shall listen, let's, 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 I give you a proof. I give you the proof. All this hall, with their own honesty, speak up. Every ayat is related on you or not. Thank you. Did you get the answer? Allah says, Inna hadha al-Qur'ana yaqussu ala bani Israila aksar alladhi hum fi yaqtalifoon And you are making a difference. And the relationship is there. Every ayat I read, every ayat I read is being related over mankind. Every ayat I'm reading is a relationship. You can see that. It's not stories. It's a relationship over mankind. Inna hadha al-Qur'an yaqussu ala bani Israila aksar alladhi hum fi yaqtalifoon Surely this is the Quran. Relates over Bani Israel. We are seeing their relationship. Aren't we? It relates over us. It is not a story. What he says is story. Excuse me. You said Qasas means story. Didn't you? It's a relationship. Inna hadha al-Qur'ana yaqussu ala Bani Israela aksra alladhi hum fi yaqtalifoon. Allah says surely this is the Quran. Relates over Bani Israel, children of Israel, in most of it they differ. In most of it they are differing. Most of it. And it is being related. They can see it. The proof is there. Every ayat I see, you see the witness on the ground. Every ayat I am reading and you are verifying the witnesses is there. The Quran is so truth that what I read, you see the difference. You see exactly that it is being related over people and they are differing. They are differing because the Qur'an is being related over them. Inna hadha al-Qur'ana yaqussu ala bani Israela akta ladhi hum fihi yaqtalifoon. Surely this is Qur'an. Relates over bani Israel. In most of it they differ. Wa hinnahu lahudam wa rahmatun lil mu'mineen. And surely it is a guidance. People who are trying to take guidance, it is a guidance and a mercy for those who believe. For those who believe, it is a guidance. And people who do not want to be, they'll differ. They'll differ because the ayah says so. Humfihi yaqtalifoon. And the proof is being produced on the ground. This is Allah talking in the ayat. This is not Muhammad Sheikh making mockery of the ayat. It's Allah talking to all mankind now and I'm also, He's talking to me also. And in the Quran Allah says, Inna hadha al-Qur'ana يَقُصُّ عَلَىٰ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ أَكْثَرَ الَّذِيُمْ فِي يَقْتَلِفُونَ Surely this is the Qur'an relates over Bani Israel in most of it they differ. So they will differ. They have to differ. Because this is the ayat. And وَإِنَّهُ لَهُدًا وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ And for the believers it is a guidance and a mercy. Take up your choice. Take up your choice. It is a guidance and a mercy for those who believe. If you have want to take guidance, you will believe and it will be mercy on you. But if you differ, if you differ, because the ayah says so, you will differ. Surah Shura 26, Ayah 192. Wa innahu tanzilu rabbil alameen. Surely this Quran is a revelation from the Lord of the world. Nazala bihi rolameen. And with it, the spirit of truth is revealed. Ala qalbika litakuna minal munzireen Over your heart So you Muhammad become from the warners Bilisanin Arabi mubin With the clear Arabic language Wa innahu lafi zubri lavbaleen And surely it is in the earlier pieces Awalam yakul lahum ayatan An ya'lamahu ulumau bani Israel And it is not for them an ayat Our ayat That the uluma The knowledgeable of the Bani Israel, know it. Imagine, every ayat is being produced on ground. Allah says, surely, وَإِنَّهُ لَتَنْزِيلُ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ It is a revelation. This ayat I am reading the Quran, it is a revelation from the Lord of the world. نَزَلَ بِهِ رُلَمِينَ Reveal with it is the spirit of truth. With the revelation, you can see the spirit of truth. Over your heart, 
لتكون من المنذرين over your heart محمد peace be upon him so that you won't be listen in Arabic mubin in the Arabic language وَإِنَّهُ لَفِي زُبْرُ الْأَبْرِينَ And it is, it is, this Qur'an is in the early pieces. أَوَلَهُمْ أَوَلَهُمْ أَوَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُمْ آيَةً أَنْ يَعْلَمَهُ عُلُمَاءُ بَنِ إِسْرَائِيلِ And is it not for them, our ayat, our ayat sign that the ulama, 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 the knowledgeable of the Bani Israel know it. Can you imagine? The ulama knows it. The Bani Israel Uluma knows it. Who are the Ulumas of Bani Israel? We are Bani Israel. Who are our Uluma? We are Bani Israel. Aren't we? And the Uluma knows it. Every ayat I am reading, the Uluma knows it. The Quran ayat says, Awalam yakullahum ayatan, an ya'alamahu ulumau Bani Israel. Is it not an ayah? Is it not in enough? The ayah is not enough for them. That the knowledgeable, the ulama of Bani Israel know it. And they are taking the advantage. The knowledgeable, the ulama, the ulama of Bani Israel. I end my lecture with the last ayah. of my speech this is the last ayah of my of this speech what the quran has to say of bani israel this is again allah is teaching us how we mankind we the bani israel should communicate with allah he's telling us in the ayat so allah says la yukallifullahu nafsan illa wasaha لَهَا مَا كَسَبَتْ وَعَلَيْهَا مَا كَسَبَتْ رَبَّنَا لَا تُوَاخِذْنَا إِنَّ نَسِينَا وَخْطَانَا رَبَّنَا وَلَا تَحْمِلْ عَلَيْنَا إِسْلٌ كَمَا حَمَلْتَهُ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِنَا رَبَّنَا وَلَا تُحَمِّلْ لَا مَا لَا تَوْقَدَ لَنَا بِهِ وَعَفُ وَنَّا وَاغْفِلْ لَنَا وَارْحَمْنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا للقوم الكافرين. This Surah Baqarah 2, Ayah 286. It explains to mankind, Allah does not give a task to a soul except to her capacity. Allah does not give a task to anyone, anyone to his own capacity. Soul. Now, Ayat is referring to the soul or the self of the person. So it is referred as she in English, and in Arabic it's a feminine gender. Allah does not give a task to a soul except to her capacity. Whatever he can comprehend, he got the wusat, Allah gives him that task. What she earns is on her. What she earns is for her. And what she has earned is on her. Meaning whatever I do is for me. I'm not responsible of anybody. Nobody is responsible for anybody. Allah says what she earned is for her. And what she has earned is on her. Meaning every individual in this world, whatever he's going to do is for him. And whatever he's going to earn is on him. You can't put the blame on anybody. You can't put the blame on the devil also. So watch out, ladies and gentlemen. You have to take your own task. Whatever you have, Allah gives you the capacity, you have to do it. So Allah, he tells us, Allah tells us how to pray God. رَبَّنَا لَا تُوَاخِرْنَا إِنَّ نَسِينَا وَخْطَانَا رَبَّنَا وَلَا تَحْمِلَ عَلَيْنَا إِسْرًا كَمَا حَمَلْتَهُ وَلَا الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِنَا رَبَّنَا وَلَا تُحَمِّلْ لَا مَا لَا تَوْقَتَ لَنَا بِهُ وَعَفْوَنَّا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين. Meaning Allah do not catch us. If we forget, if we forget, do not catch us. Or we do a mistake. Anyone can commit mistake. 
Don't think you are God. Oh, do not catch us. Oh, our Lord, do not catch us. If we forget or if we make a mistake, oh, our Lord, do not load a burden on us like you have burden on those from before us. Oh, our Lord, do not burden us with what? With we do not have the strength. Pardon us. Forgive us. Have mercy on us. You are our protector and help us. Help us over the people who reject. Imagine you can do nothing except his forgiveness, except his pardon. You can do nothing except his pardon, his mercy, his forgiveness. Don't think you are God. That's it. He's teaching you what to do. Just don't put fingers at people. I can't give it back because I am destined to have forgiveness for me. Pardon from Allah. Pardon from mercy on me. I damn care of the world. Don't look at people. Because everybody, we are vultures. Nasr in Arabic. Putting pointing fingers at people. Not learning the lesson, the essence. The only you can see. We say we don't have this pardon us. Wafwanna, wafilana, warhamna, anta maulana, fansunna, fansunna al qawmil kafirin. That's all you can do. Ask Allah for pardon, for forgiveness, for have mercy on you. And He is your protector from the people who do reject. That's the lesson in the ayat. If you pull me wrong, that's a destiny you change not. Anybody proves me wrong, that's not destiny in garden. That is, it is not the question of proving somebody wrong or right. I am ready to learn from the book. You must be ready to learn from the book. You can do mistakes. I can do blunders. But I'm not accountable to any man. I'm only accountable to Allah. I will give my account to him. Who are you? Nothing. Everybody should learn the lesson what the ayat is teaching you. You have, have to have pardon. You have to ask for forgiveness. Pardon us. Have mercy, have forgiveness on us. Have mercy on us. You are our protector. Help us. Over those, those who reject. You can't fight the rejectors. Only asking Allah to help you against the rejectors. You can do nothing. They will keep on rejecting because they're destined for hellfire. You can't help it. No messenger cannot change the world. No messenger in the Quran has changed the world into Muslim nation as perfect Muslims all time. There were very little few, few in all time. That is the sunnah and the practice that all messengers deliver the message. There were very few, few, few listen to the word and took guidance. Always few. You can't change the world into Islam and world and make you are not God. You are yourself created beings, creatures to take pardon from God, forgiveness from God, mercy from, from Allah. Only that. So ladies and gentlemen, whoever of his own will would like to recite these ayahs, last ayahs with me. I will read first, you repeat it after me. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته ولا الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به وعفونا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا واصبرنا للقوم الكافرين لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها 
لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تواخذنا ان نسينا او اخطانا ربنا ولا تحمل ليلا اسرا كما حملته ولا الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا توقد لنا به وعفو لنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا انت مولانا فانظرنا على القوم الكافرين لا يكلف الله نفسا الا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تواخذنا ان نسينا واخطانا ربنا ولا تحمل الينا اسرا كما حملت ولا الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا توقتنا به وعفو لنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا انت مولانا فسرنا على القوم الكافرين Allah does not give a task to a, to a soul except to her capacity. What she earns is for her, and what she has earned is on her. Oh, our Lord, do not catch us. <laughs> oh, Lord, do not catch us if we forget or we make a mistake. <laughs> oh, Lord, do not know the burden. Like you burden on those for me, Lord. <laughs> oh Lord, do not burden us with that we don't have the strength. <laughs> burden us <laughs> and forgive us. <laughs> and mercy on us. <laughs> you are our protector. Help us over the people who reject. <laughs> I end my lecture. This call of Bani Israel, because they are the chosen people, they have been blessed. You have to come back. It is your own choice. You can do it. If you don't want to do it, the Quran says there are people who will differ, and the people who believe. will be overpowered will, will, will the, the people who reject will be overpowered those who believe there is a gentleman i end my this lecture you can come up and ask any question pertaining to the topic translation whatsoever the dictionaries i have brought six dictionaries anyone who's going who's going to talk about the dictionary or, or translation should produce an arabic dictionary standard arabic dictionary by virtue you can establish the point if you say this is wrong translation that's an allegation i have brought six dictionaries you can make up a queue here and come and ask questions relating to the topic don't get confused on to the translation ladies and gentlemen please before before we before we open the floor Before we open the floor to the question and answer session there are a few rules which I would like to highlight for everyone especially for those who are wanting to ask questions so please listen carefully first we have placed a podium on the front I would request you to please make two cues one for the ladies on the first aisle and another queue on your on your left for the gentlemen we will take one question at a time we will take one question at a time
beginning with the lady, then with the gentleman, then with the lady, then with the gentleman, we will alternate. Because there are a lot of people who want to ask questions, I would request you all please put forward your question in approximately two minutes. We do not want to hear your observations, your comments, or your commentary regarding this evening's program. The idea of this question and answer session is to clarify any doubts or any queries that have come to mind during the course of the lecture. Two minutes per person, one question per person, please. If you have got two questions or more, I would request you please go back to the end of the queue so that the person in the next in line has the opportunity to ask his question. One question to be placed in front of the speaker relevant to the topic. Please, relevant to the topic. Yes, go ahead. Please. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> Please state your name first. Huh? My name is Muhammad Asad Munir. Ah, Sheikh Sab, I will speak in Urdu. No, please. No, English. The lecture has been delivered. The lecture has been delivered in English. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. The lecture has you been see, delivered in me, English. I am sending these lectures throughout the world. This lecture is being conducted to not to the Pakistani people. Okay, okay. Excuse my my yes. question is that uh, you make very wrong translation. Please, don't make photographs. My question is that you make very wrong translation of uh, ayat number 40, 40 ayat of Surah Azab, which you make translation that Muhammad cannot be the father and sister from any of you men, but he is the messenger of Allah and the seal of the prophets, and Allah has knowledge of all things. Excuse me, can we open all of us? What you are saying, let, let us check what you are saying. Can we open this? Yeah. 33, 40 ads. Page open. number 20 of your leaflet. Sorry? Page Apply number book. 20 of your leaflet. Yes, yes. Let the people also see what you are saying. <coughs> Page 20, Surah Azab 33, Ayah 40. The gentleman is saying that my translation is not correct. So probably he would like to give us the correct translation. Here you condemn the translation, Sorry? which here you trying to condemn the translation which given us to Excuse Prophet me. Muhammad. Excuse me. Sallam. No, no, just a minute. Don't say I condemn. Don't use the word which I have not done it. I have translated the ayat. That's you can say. And, you and say it is wrong. That translation was wrong. Yeah. Okay. What is the correct translation? The correct translation is that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger who stopped the series Excuse of prophets. Excuse me. Who stopped the... Listen. No, you, you, com uh, let we, me complete who, to my question. translation you giving? Let me complete to my question. Yes. Let me complete to my question. Translation. Translation. Who, from where you are speaking? Which, trans which, which authority translated that, what you are saying? A number of hadith, but no, you have no, 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 just a minute. no word, no single Excuse word me. from Holy Quran Excuse in me. support of your translation. No, in, in the world, there let are me, many translations. Excuse Shab, let me. me complete my question. No. First, let it's me. A, Excuse me, you have to quote me the translation from the standard which will be translated by the world. I am asking you to Shab, quote Shab, a this translation. Is the translation which, which, which have given us by the Prophet Muhammad, no. peace be upon him, elaborating with his 30, more than 32 hadith. Excuse me. Okay. Brother, brother, you are my brother. Sir, there is no enmity. Please. Just a minute. A standard translation of the world who have been... They are all wrong. They are all wrong. Don't try to make con confusion. I'm asking to, you. To, to, to go into the uh, translation of different, mean, uh, different words. No, no. You have to... Excuse me. There are many scholars in the world. There are Shafari Tanvi Sahib and Maradi 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 There are Maradi 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 First, let me complete... I'm asking you... First, let me complete... Mama the translation... Which I know that it is Abdullah the correct translation. No, First, let me complete. No, you have to give me the translation. Oh, this, is a, this is not a question. You are accusing me of the translation. My question is still incomplete. My question is still incomplete. You see, you give me a translation. I don't want to make any debate with you. I don't want to make munazra. No. I, 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 excuse I, me. Excuse me, I am the person 
who mm-hmm. ask you, who mm-hmm. interrupt you at that time when you make the wrong translation, right? Okay. Thank you. When you make the wrong translation, what is the I correct? interrupt you and you what say, is the at correct? You, right? let, let me complete. And, and you say at that moment, and you say at, 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 and you say at that moment that please stop, we will give you a chance Excuse and me. you come here and ask the question. You have not asked your question, you are asking me that I have translated wrong, you give me the correct translation. After hearing all of your lecture, it seems as if today's Muslims, they are the children of Israel, other than today's Jews. Sorry? I mean, after hearing all your lecture, it seems as if the present day's Muslims, they are the children of Israel, yes. and not the present day Jews. Yes. Is Quran saying anything about it, about Jews? Yes, the Quran used the word for Jews is Hud, Yahud. Yahud. So now, the, 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 I told you from the Bible that the Bible is saying that the, uh, Jacob got the title as Israel. So, so they, the people who follow the Bible, Old Testament, they call themselves Jews. So they made a nation, take the Palestine, and made a nation Israel. And they are Jews, they are Jews basically, and they are thinking they are Israeli now. They are thinking they are Israeli. Because Israel is, is, is a nation now. So they think we are born in that, we are Israel. Actually they are Jews. So Quran describes about Yahud. That's a different word. Bani Israel are the chosen people of all time. But Yahud or Hud or Hadu is another, is another description of the Quran. I told you Quran describes Nasara. Quran describes Mushrik. Quran describes Yahud. Quran describes uh, hypocrites, Munafik. There are many, many character traits. I have chosen only those which Allah addresses. But the Quran also describes about the Jews. So in that connection, you open Surah Maida. Which ayat is it? Surah Maida 5, ayah 64. You see the personality of a Yahud or a Jew, the character trait of the Yahud or the Jew is, Quran speaks in Maida 5, 64 ayat. وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُودُ يَهُودُ اللَّهَ مَغْلُولَهُ غُلَّتْ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَلُعِنُوا بِمَا قَالُوا بَلْ يَدَاهُ مَبْسُطَتَانِ يُنْفِقُوا كَيْفَ يَشَاءُ وَلَا يَزِيدَنَّ كَثِيرًا مِّنْهُمْ مَا أُنْزِلَ إِلَيْكَ مِنْ رَبِّكَ تُغْيَانًا وَكُفْرًا وَأَلْقَيْنَا بَيْنَهُمُ الْعَدَاوَةَ وَالْبَغْضَاءَ إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةَ كلما أوقدوا نارا للحرب أفاءها الله ويسعون في الأرض فساد والله لا يحب المفسدين. The Jews, now the character of the Jews. Identify yourself, the character of the Jews. The Jews say Allah's hand is tied up. You see the psychology of man who is a Jew, he thinks that Allah's hand is tied up. But their hands are tied up, Allah says. The Jews' hands are tied up, Allah says. They are a curse for what they say. They are a curse for what they say about Allah. But both Allah's hands are widely outstretched. He gives and spends as He pleases. But the revelation that has come to you from Allah increases in most of them rebellion and rejection. The revelation that has come to you from Allah increases in most of them, rebellion and rejection. That is the character of a Yahud. That is the character of a Yahud who want to rebel, who want to react, reject and rebel. Among them, we have placed enmity and hatred till the day of judgment. Every time they kindle the fire of war, they kindle the fire of war. Allah extinguishes it. Every time. They kindle the fire of war. Allah extinguishes it. But they strive to do mischief on the earth. But they try to do mischief on the earth. And Allah loves those who do mischief. So the personality or the character or the personality of a Jew is that every time they are looking for war, the Jews are looking for war, killing. Every time they want to do mischief because they are unsatisfied. They want to do mischief in the land. That's the character of a Jew. 
The Jew is defined who want to kindle the fire of war and the world, always fighting, always trying to extinguish the fire of war. Allah always extinguish. Allah always extinguish. And today, with all these people, there are some people who wanted to do it today. Allah extinguish it. Allah extinguish it. Those, those, are, those are sitting in the audience, they know it. They wanted to extinguish the fire. But Allah is always there to extinguish it. Every time they kindle the fire of war, Allah extinguish it. But they strive to do mischief in the earth. And Allah loves those who do mischief. So the, they, they, the character of the Jew is this. And they think, another place in the, another Quran, if you want to know about the Jews, there are, this is a big lecture. I'm just giving you one or two references about the Jews. So in Surah Juma 62, Ayah 6 about the Jews. These Jews. Surah Juma 62, 6. These Jews, Yahud, Hadu. Qul ya ayyuhalladheena hadu. In za'amtum annakum awliya awlillah. Min duni nis, min duni nas. Fatamannabul mawta. In kuntum sadiqeen. Say, O oh those of you who are hadu Jews, if you think that you are friends of Allah, other than others, then express your desire for death if you are truthful. You see, this Jew's character. Hello? The Jew thinks he is the only Allah. Hello? The Jew thinks he is only Allah. Qul ya ayyuhalladheena hadu. Say to those who are hadu, the Jews, in za'antum annakum awliya lillah. You think you are the protector of Allah? The Jew thinks he is the only Allah. That's the character of a Jew. I am not saying it, the book says it. Qul ya ayyuhalladheena hadu. Say those who are Jews. In, in zaantum annakum awliya ulillah. You think you are the awliya Allah? You think that Allah is your with you? So Allah says, Allah says, Minduni, they think they are the awliya Allah, minduni nas, other than mankind, they are the awliya Allah. So Allah says, fatamannabul mouth. Then seek death. Go near to God. Because you die, you go to God. Then seek death. In kuntum sadiqin, if you are speaking the truth. So the Jews' character, Quran describes, they think they are the Ali Allah. They think they are the protectors of Allah. They are to lead Islam. That's the character of the Jew. Can I ask you another question? Yes. So who are these? Uh, who is Israel according to Quran? The Quran says about Israel, that the the, uh, uh, the first group people who were in the with the with Nuh al -Islam, those people who were the in the ark in the with, with the boat with Musa, Nuh al -Islam, they are the offspring from them. So they, that group who first believe are the Israel. But if you want to see from the Quranic ayat, there is, there is an ayat in the Quran, Surah Al Imran 3, and ayah 93. In the ayah says, Kullu ta'ami kana hilla li bani Israela, illa ma harrama Israelu ala nafsihi min qabli antu nazra tawrah. Kul fa'atu bi tawrati fatluha. In kuntum sadiqeen. All food was lawful to the Bani Israel except what Israel made unlawful over himself before the Torah was revealed. Say, come with the Torah, the law, so recite it if you are truthful. You see, the, the, the Quran says, because Allah says in the ayat that all food which is lawful in the book, mention the book, is lawful Bani Israel. In the ayahs where Allah says what is lawful, what to eat, is lawful for the children of Israel. It is lawful in all times. But, except ma illa ma harama Israel ala nafsi, except what Israel made unlawful on himself. The first group which was in the, in the Noah's ark, any time when the person is a believer, first is the first of the news with Noah al Islam people, they are the Israelis. Every individual is right. But now he made it unlawful before the revelation of the Torah. Meaning if I have not read the book and I do not know what is, what is haram and what is halal, so I can make unlawful. There are many things I can make unlawful on myself. Or I will make unlawful on myself before because I don't know what is in the book. So Allah says that all food was lawful for the children of Israel except what Israel made unlawful over itself. 
بفور دا ریولیشن آف دا تورات قل فاتو بی توراتی فتوحا ان کنتم صادقین سے کم بی دا تورات and recite it if you are speaking the truth meaning everybody at any given time when he is a believer and he doesn't know and he's trying, he is not the, the law is not being revealed to him what is haram and what is halal he can do mistake and make unlawful on him but when it is revealed he made it lawful so for the children so this is the only place another place where Islam is mentioned this is the almost one place two places Islam is mentioned and this is where you can understand that Israel is the person a personality who made unlawful before the revelation of Torah. That is all in the Quran. Thank you very much.